So, the weapons of Battlefield 1. The developers over at DICE dropped a load of new information yesterday about how the weapons will feel in the upcoming title, and some of it is a little bit different to past titles as well. So we're going to go over that today, and in the background you can now see a small teaser trailer that was also dropped yesterday. Not much to see here, but we do see a little bit of first person action with a soldier reloading his LMG. Of course it looks amazing, and this is in-game footage, not in-engine or any CGI nonsense. This now is the real deal. So first off, I want to talk about the sniper rifles and the now slightly changed sniper mechanics. In a Q&A between Darkness429, you might know him as Tim Havelock, he's a brilliant Twitch streamer and a really good friend of mine, and Julian Shimek, who is a developer over at DICE, Shimek revealed the way snipers will work will be familiar to what people who've played Battlefield 4 will know them as, but they aren't 100% the same. Now, you need to be at the right range to be most effective, not too far away and not too close, and that really emphasises the sniper role being a reconnaissance operative. This sounds like sniper rifles are going to have a critical range to them, doing more damage at certain distances and less damage outside of that. It could be a great change to shake up the class that's been a little bit samey for a while now. You'll get a chance on June 12th to see that in action, the reveal is just less than a week away now, that live stream in Los Angeles. Next we're going to talk about the speed and the handling of the weapons. This might be a controversial decision, but DICE have sped up the bullet velocity across all weapons, and things might feel a little bit faster than what you might expect. A lot of people have got this idea of World War I being a long, slow, drawn out battle in their heads, and I think DICE are trying to subvert that and change people's perception, and giving us the feel of a Battlefield game that we all know and love, rather than detracting from the formula the whole community has come to expect. If you were going to go for all out trench warfare in Battlefield 1, we know that's not the case, it may be a very slow, drawn out game but we know that Battlefield doesn't really play out that way and things are constantly moving. So DICE are trying to emulate that with their weapon handling. As I've mentioned before in previous videos, there will be a lot of weapon variety in Battlefield 1, but we now have it confirmed as six weapon categories. We've got shotguns, semi-automatic rifles, SMGs, LMGs, sidearms and sniper rifles. All of these will come with their own weapon sight options, but the biggest shakeup here is that preset loadouts will be making a feature. Each weapon will come in up to three different variants, each different to the last one. Some examples they use are, do you want a shotgun with more punch, or maybe one that trades stability for accuracy? This is like picking your playstyle role and then expanding on top of that with your own sight choices. This means there will still be a lot of variety within the weaponry in Battlefield 1, but a huge amount of the attachments that we saw in Battlefield 4, where they didn't really do anything different to something else, it doesn't appear that that is going to be an issue anymore. We'll still be able to make our weapons feel unique with different optics and different weapon skins, and I'll talk about those in a minute, but you get to pick a base to start with, which makes the system a little bit more focused. DICE also mentioned that there will be a few different types of grenades for us to pick from. With World War I being this transitional period in combat, there were lots of different types of weapons tested and used. There was no one accepted format on how something should be made, so each army just made what they thought was best. And in Battlefield 1, besides your standard frag grenade, you'll have access to gas and incendiary grenades as well, and more apparently. I hope DICE have learnt their lesson from Battlefield 4 though, big steps were made there to help the grenade spam and it is now under control, so I'd love to see that balancing in Battlefield 1 from the start so we don't have grenade spam problems on release. What about those weapon skins though? Well, Julian Shimek isn't letting much loose there. He does say that we'll get more information in the coming weeks and again, it's another layer for you to make your weapon feel unique, and no doubt you'll see some weapon skins in the June 12th reveal of the multiplayer. Next, and a rather interesting note, the weapon sounds in Battlefield 1. 
DICE recorded more sounds than ever before, all to fit into the environment that they're trying to create. The sound of an empty magazine, the bang of a shotgun, all of your standard weapon firing sounds, and then slightly changing that sound when your ammunition is low. They've covered all of the bases. We know that Battlefield audio is always on point, but Battlefield 1 appears to be taking it to a whole new level. Gadgets will of course be a big focus of combat in Battlefield 1, and DICE have said that anyone familiar with the franchise will feel right at home here. Things like armor-piercing rounds for your tank, medical equipment, and scouting tools to gain intel during the fight. Again, more information on that coming soon. So, lots of information for us to digest over the next few days before the full reveal of Battlefield 1 multiplayer. I will be in LA along with lots of other YouTubers, Twitch streamers, celebrities to bring the event to you guys. I can't tell you what I'm doing in the event yet because I still haven't been cleared to tell you guys what it is, but rest assured I will be there. It starts at 2pm Pacific Time or 10pm UK Time on Sunday the 12th of June, so make sure you're about and you might just catch another glimpse of my face. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave me your thoughts below, but until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.